What's up, Moto Buddies? Mike here from Taco Moto Co. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add some fuel to the idle circuit for the Get ECU system on the Honda R and L bikes. There is a known condition where some Get ECU systems on these bikes exhibit symptoms like hard starting or an idle speed that does not respond to the turning of the knob. This is caused by the fact that Honda uses an air bypass idle speed throttle body uh, which means that the air that feeds the engine during idle is not measured by the main throttle plate, which has a, a TPS sensor. So the air coming into the engine during idle is not measured, it's not calibrated. And on some of these Honda throttle bodies, there's more air that comes in than is needed for the idle, which means that the fuel mixture, the standard mix, is a little lean. So to compensate that, we do that through the YGET app of the uh, using the Wi-Fi module on your SX1 or RX1 get ECU system and you sync your app to your bike and we will link that procedure in the video in the notes below and so once you have got to that point and you're now looking at this screen on your bike then you can uh, you can go ahead and touch your your bike itself so we've got got our Honda right here so we come right into the tuning screen, which is where we need to be. We need to import the map that is already in the ECU, the Takamoto maps. We need to pull that into the app to begin our little process here. So I'm going to touch the read ECU button and I am going to download from the ECU. So yes. And that's telling me that we've just imported it into custom maps. So uh, I want to do that a few times and uh, let me make a copy of this map and I'll explain this in a minute. Just just follow along in this procedure and then I'll explain what we're doing here. So I'm going to press that the three little buttons, uh, the three little vertical buttons on the side. So I can I can touch that and then copy map. And I've made three of these. Okay, so I've made three versions, three copies of the same map. And the reason I want to do this is, is here I'll explain now. I'm going to touch the bottom one, ECU map. And let's rename that down here at the bottom, map name. I'm going to call this original, do not erase. OK. And I hit OK. And then at the upper left, there's the left arrow. That's the back button, basically. That's my base Takamoto maps. Uh, I'm going to keep this in the app and save that. So if I ever get in a situation where I've made changes that I don't like, and I get confused, and I just kind of want to revert back to base, I can go into this original do not erase version of the map and then send that to the bike. So it's kind of a fail safe, you just protect it. And these live in the custom maps tab. So you see this, this screen here, you have read ECU, which is where we just were. And anytime you want to go and make any mods or look at those, they're right here in the center custom map. So we'll go back into that. So I don't want to make any changes to the original one. Do not erase. So I'm going to touch the next one. Let's go the one straight above, which would be that number one. And here I'm going to rename this. I'm going to call this idle adjustment. Idle fuel adjustment. And let's go through this procedure. So we need to add a little fuel to the idle circuit. That's what's causing our symptoms. And so across the upper area here, you'll see that the blue IG map one is already highlighted. We need to go to the fuel tab. And so to the right of that, there's that spreadsheet. And so this grid represents boxes or cells where fuel is applied at that very specific RPM and throttle position range. RPM is the, the numbers across the top. And then the vertical on the left is throttle position. So we need to adjust for our idle, which is that 2000 RPM, zero throttle position. The reason they're zeros is because that's our baseline. We need to, uh, this, this is allowing you to add additional fuel above that zero baseline or remove fuel. So that's why those are shown as zeros. So we need to change that upper left hand value. So I'm gonna double click the spreadsheet. It asked me, do I want to save a copy of the map before I change it. No, I don't. I already, I already did that, basically. We showed you that procedure a moment ago. So I'm going to say no. And then I'm going to touch the upper left-hand cell. And then the up arrow 
which is the lower right blue arrow. I'm going to drive that number up to 10%. We're going to add, as an experiment here, we're just a little trial and error. Uh, your bike is going to need anywhere between 10 to 15%. True experience have determined that 10% is the best number to start at for the baseline. So I'll say OK there for the 10, and I'll press the left arrow, the upper left return arrow. And I'm ready to send that to the bike. And to do that, that's the, the up arrow, which is in the top right. So I'll press that top right arrow. Do I want to send this to the ECU? Yes, I do. So once that happens, your Wi-Fi module and app are talking to the ECU. That change has been logged at the ECU, and now it is 10% above. So at this point, I'm ready to start the bike and to do a test. Um, does the bike start easier now? When I adjust the idle speed knob and I increase the idle speed, does it respond? Does the idle go up? Are all of those things happening? If, if they are, and I'm satisfied with the result, then, then you're done. You can close out the app and now uh, go ride your bike. If you find that you would like to improve it just a little more, you feel like it didn't quite respond as well, it didn't maybe start as easy as you'd hoped, or the idle did increase, but it didn't go quite high enough, that might mean that your bike just would respond better with a little more. So we can double click the spreadsheet again. And it doesn't ask us to save it again this time, that only did it the first. Touch that upper left cell again. I'm gonna push that up to 15%. 15 is about the upper range that we've seen. If your bike responds now at 15% and you're very happy with it, then, then your bike is in uh, one of those 15% groups. If it still is unresponsive and you feel like you need to do something else, go ahead and contact us. Um, it shouldn't take really any more than 15. And so if it's not responding well, then there's something else going on we need to look at. Uh, so I'm going to send this to the bike. I'm going to press that arrow on the upper right. Update the ECU. Yes. And that's now adjusted that, that cell, that fuel cell to 15% over the original baseline number. Uh, and that, again, this fix almost 100% of the bikes we ever encounter that have this issue. And then you're able to go out and ride it and see how that does. So the upper left, if I, I'm just show you one or two other last things before I finish. So we've changed it to 15%. If you, if you felt like 15 was too high, and let's say we want to split the difference. We want to go to 13. You can double click that spreadsheet and touch that cell and push the number down, 13. And then go left arrow back, send that to the bike. Okay, we updated it to 13. It didn't add 13 to the previous 15. It just adjusts it to whatever number is in that cell. It is now 13. So uh, let's say that's it. My bike is great. It's fixed. I'm done. Uh, and so you can left arrow back out and that you can see those maps, the original one, which we're never going to change that idle fuel adjustment is there in the middle. And if I touch it and I go back into it and I'm going to touch fuel map one, there it is that number 13. That's what the ECU is set to. If your map two also has the same sort of symptoms, then you can touch the FI map two tab which is across the top, there it is. You can do the same operation. No, I don't want to change that. And uh, let's say 13 was the good number for me before. I'll put that at 13. I can left arrow out, send that to the bike, hit yes. And now both of those maps, one and two, are now at 13. And that's as simple as it is. If you have any questions about any of this at all, uh, or if your bike does not respond to these changes, please contact us. You can reach us at the links below in the, in the notes. Uh, thank you for riding the Takamoto Get ECU system. Like, subscribe, go out, get some adventure.